Madam President, Excellency, dear colleagues, ladies and gentlemen, I'm honored to deliver this statement at the 33th International Conference of the Red Cross and the Red Crescent. The, I the I ICRC started working in Timor-Leste in 1975 and has since been a key player in assisting my country, preventing and alleviating human suffering. Timorese will not forget the assistance given by the ICRC during the conflict that we highly recognize and important its mandate given by the Geneva Convention. The Red Cross of Timor-Leste was established in 2000 and incorporated as a national society in September 2005 and in November of the same year was admitted as a full member of the movement. Timor-Leste ratified the Geneva Convention of 1949 in 2003, then the first two additional protocols in 2005, then third additional protocol in 2011. In 2009, domestic legislation giving force for the pro protection of the red crystal was enacted through government law number 12 slash 2009, used the protection of the an emblem of the Red Cross in Timor-Leste. In addition, Timor-Leste being a party to the Convention of the Right of the Child, signed the optional protocol to this convention on the involvement of children in armed conflict in 2004, and entered a declaration to the effect of the voluntary recruitment into the armed force of Timor-Leste. Could not take place and <coughs> an individual was 18 years of age. Government law number three slash 2007 confirmed the military census and service is for citizens who have reached 18 years old of age. Furthermore, Timor-Leste became a party to the Rome Statute of International Criminal Court on 6 September 2002, and the law 19 slash 2009, which approved the penal code, allow under Book 2nd and Title 1, Chapter 2, for domestic prosecution for those who are accused of committing war crimes. In relation to treaty dealing with the restriction or pro prohibition of the certain weapon, Timor-Leste signed a convention on the prohibition of biological weapon in 2002 and bought the convention of the prohibition of chemical weapon and convention of the prohibition of anti-personal landmine in 2003. The government of Timor-Leste and the Red Cross of Timor-Leste have signed a unique relationship, working closely on a number of issues and, and projects, mostly giving, aiming in building resilience and management of disaster. This project is based in, in, in Delhi capital in all 13 municipalities. That's drought and animal disease outbreak and Asian swine flu and made disaster for accident, school and curriculum development, ambulance service, what and sanitation, nutrition, community and health and blood donation. In 2009, Timor-Leste government supported the Red Cross of Timor-Leste fund of 250,000 and, uh, and continue to support the Red Cross of Timor-Leste as they stand as an extremely important non-profit voluntary humanitarian aid society. I thank you, Madam President. Thank you very much.